Yes guys, here we are, F1 2010. We're doing a championship as Robert Kubica to celebrate Renault, you know, coming back to the sport in 2016. So, and it's not just about Kubica, of course, but although I do in, I did used to watch Kubica with a close eye, of course, here in a Renault, and he won in a BMW Sauber in Canada in 2008, so we'll get this race underway. So, I don't know what this championship's going to hold. Legend difficulty, 20% races. You'll see where I qualified in a minute. Unless you've looked on me steering wheel already and saw it in P10. I didn't manage to get a run on the option tyre. So Vettel on pole position for race 1. We've been out qualified by B Vitaly Petrov for the first time. This season, and it's his first time of course. And there's Michael Schumacher back on the grid. You know, and uh, there's Liotzi Sutil Kobayashi. This is going to be a great season, I think. And we're away. As, well, we've already been away. I forgot to mention that because I was looking at drivers as Liotzi passes us. I'm going to go on the inside of Vitonio Liotzi. Of Vitantonio. Around the outside of Felipe. A bit of contact with Michael. Oh, Massa's coming back at us, I'll defend there. You can go around the outside, Felipe. Okay, maybe they're a bit slow into this first corner. Well, no, into that corner, sorry. I've passed Rosberg and Michael and they've... They've almost hit each other. Right, so now we're up to fifth position after passing Jensen Button in a McLaren, a Renault in a McLaren, passing a McLaren. Since the days of Alonso driving with Fisichella and all that in that Renault back then, I didn't. It's unheard of nowadays. But anyway, we're here in fifth position after the first few laps, so we gained five positions. Thankfully, we don't have no penalties here. I don't think Petrov's gained any positions. Come on, Vitaly Petrov, and we hit the back of Mark Webber. Is there any damage to the car? No. So I don't really know what to comment on or say because this is this is going to be one hell of a season this is going to be. I just it's going to be brilliant. I mean, I'm going to enjoy it, really enjoy this season. Maybe we might get a Grand Prix win. I just need to point out that this race this track the AI wasn't aren't really that strong on for some reason here this on this game so Hamilton's leading the race so it's Alonso second Vettel third Weber fourth and we're in fifth we're in fifth position that's good I'll take fifth for now but I won't take fifth in the, the overall finishing position well the overall race standings but Webber's looking racy on his teammate. Webber, no, Button's closing in on us, so I'll put it up to fast engine mode. Uh oh, we had no, nothing to worry about. See what I mean? The AI being a bit, not being so good at this track. As we're passing Vettel around the outside. And now Fernando Alonso around the outside. This is on the highest difficulty, guys. I can, I can uh, show you that and we've got a warning for corner cutting there if, if you guys would like to try you know a race here on F1 2010 with a f maximum AI settings on legend and try it here at Bahrain you will find it easy I could have won in a what what was it um a Lotus, a Lotus, or a Mana, or even a HRT. To be fair, I would have done a season with Bruno Senna. To be fair, but but Robert Kubica is coming. Well, not Robert Kubica. Uh, Renault's coming back to the spot, and I wanted to. Well, as a works team, so I wanted just to have a little celebration type season with Renault. Like, there's no pressure to win a championship. I say that and then I might be, end up fighting for a championship, so. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk. Well, no, 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 don't pit, no. Oh, I nearly spun it there. We're not gonna catch Hamilton, I don't think. But then again, he's in a McLaren, not a mighty Mercedes. But Alonso's not that far behind. Here he comes, with Fernando Alonso. Is is he gonna try and pass? No. As we've gone deep into turn one, I think that's gonna give Fernando a chance, and he's second place for Fernando. Wow, well, we went deep into the corner because we was watching Fernando and... Okay, we're on the inside of him through here, so... Yeah, the AI don't seem very quick here, do they? To be fair. Oh, no, not again, we've gone deep. Can we come back on track without hitting anyone? Yes, we can. And Alonso retakes that second position. Damn you, Fernando. We're coming after you. I'm coming after you now mate and it's only lap 3 of this Grand Prix and it's only a 10 lap Grand Prix because it's 20% and of course it's this is going out on Monday so I was meant to have an F1 championship video up on Monday yeah I don't think that's going to happen at the minute because of this video I'm doing here but because I wanted to get this done don't you dare crash into me, Sebastian. But yeah, we're in, we're in a podium position with Robert Kubica. Which isn't a surprise, it's just... I'm happy to be where I am, considering the first couple... Well, where we qualified, to be fair. So, when we get onto the option tyre... In this race, this will be my first... Set... First... You know, okay. I need to defend from Sebastian, so I have to cut off from that. We we defending him, making him go the long way around. He's trying to cut back on us. He's not. He hasn't done that, but we're going to get mugged on the straight now. No, it actually Sebastian Pitts. Weber's trying to pass us, squeeze him into the wall. No, no, not quite. Well, not squeeze him into the wall, but you know, defend very well from him. That might have been with something that like Schumacher did to Barrichello, yes, that was wrong even in my opinion, and I'm a big Schumacher fan, but yeah, but that, less said about that, ma ma well that incident, the better. The brakes are running at optimum temperature, yeah, that's good then. No, we spun. Okay, thank you, Mark. Mr. Webber. Right, I'm pitting this time, then. I'm pitting this time. We've had a spin, but we've only lost one position. And Vitantonio Liuzzi in the Force India is now in fifth position. I would have done a career mode on here, but I'd rather done a driver championship. Just, an, uh, you know, a proper, well-established you know a thousand times quicker driver than I am on this game and of course it is Robert Kubica the legendary Robert Kubica I'm not mocking he is actually really good I love Kubica like he's not my favorite rally driver mind you even though he drives the Ford I'm a I'm more of a Yari Mati Latvala fan to be fair but but I'm starting to get it I'm starting to like the Hyundai drivers with Thierry Nouvelle, Danny Sardo, but that's WRC, this is Formula 1. And I'm excited to see how Julian Palmer does next season. That should be fun to see. What are you going so slow for in the pit lane, Weber? We've just overtaken you in the pits because you were going that slow. You need to think about that, Nick. Oh, he's gone onto his box. Here we go, pitting here. Breaks on. Renault F1 team. Let's hope we don't hit a Force India. On his way out. Hungary 2010. I remember that very well. I think it was. Was it Liotzi? Or was it Sut? Uh, no, I think it was Sutil. Yeah, it was Sutil and Kubica. 
that crashed into each other in the pit lane as Rosberg's wheel came off. Yeah, I remember that. But we're halfway through the... Bruno Senna is leading the Grand Prix. Oh no, hang on, no, Hamilton leads now, never mind. But Bruno Senna momentarily led this Grand Prix. Go Bruno! Can he... What? Look, he's leading again! This is not a surprise, I'm actually loving seeing... Ro uh, not Robert Kubica, I'm loving seeing Bruno Senna leading this Grand Prix. Go Bruno, man! Go on, you can get this one. But then again, has he pitted though? That's the question. I don't think he has. But momentarily, we have Schumacher behind us in 6th position. Not many times you can say you've beaten Michael Schumacher. Well, considering the Mercedes was never really strong enough for him to win a Grand Prix. But yeah, let's let's focus on what we're doing here. Even though I'd like to be fighting position with Michael Schumacher up front. But Bruno Senna leading. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. In a HRT as well, so you never know. He might win this Grand Prix. Right now we're catching Alonso because we're on the quicker tyre now. So I think I think some of the back markers haven't pitted yet, but they have now. Yeah, Bruno relinquishes the lead, so Hamilton can take it back. Yeah, Hamilton's in first position, but I'm going to be after that because I've got the three cars that I'm fighting for for the race up ahead, or two of them because. I'm going to take a guess and say that's Kovalainen up in 4th position, 3rd, 2nd position at the minute. Is it Kovalainen? No, it's Trulli. It's Jano Trulli. I thought it was Kovalainen, but as we go around the outside of Alonso, but through that corner we, we're much quicker than the AI, AI and with about 4 laps to go, the uh, tyres are already starting to wear a little bit. This is good for the other drivers, of course. Come on, Yano. I, I'm having more trouble passing Yano Trulli in a Lotus than I am passing a Red Bull and a Ferrari. Fair enough. Okay, now my strategy is because I'm gonna my tires are wearing out quicker than the guys up ahead. I'm going to try and beat Lewis Hamilton and try and. Well, of course, I'm going to have to try and beat Lewis Hamilton, but I, uh, I'm going to have to try and build a big enough gap for if I need to make a pit stop for new tyres. But I don't think that's going to be possible. But I might skip a couple laps forward, guys, if nothing really happens, if we don't manage to catch Lewis. Because... To be honest, I don't want it to be a long, 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 long video. But I, I don't want it. Well, I I don't want it to be boring either. So, but I don't think we're catching Hamilton at the pace where I think I would have liked to. What do you mean pitting? The no. No, I'm not pitting. I don't need to pit. We've got three laps to go. You know, this, well, we're on lap 7, so we've got four laps at the minute, but, you know, we're on lap 7 of 10. It's going to be three to go when we come round next time by, because we've completed seven laps then. But, yeah, I'm not pitting. I don't see the need to pit. But we're catching Lewis Hamilton at a rate of knots here, guys, of course. For some reason, through this little section, the AI aren't very quick and I don't know what the story is going to be like in Melbourne oh okay Hamilton's just ahead of me and I've locked up and I've got a tyre my front one of my front tyres is orange already oh now a rear tyre is I'm not pitting guys I'm, I'm risking staying out on a even if I, I'm not gonna win this Grand Prix and I might not win a Grand Prix this season, so I'm going to have to play it risky now. 
Will that little red marker go off? Because it's annoying me now. Because I'm not pitting. I'm nowhere near pitting in this Grand Prix. Not with a few laps left to go anyway. But yeah, come on, let, let's try and win this Grand Prix. You need to pit in this lap. No, Mr. Race Engineer. I'm not pitting. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get rid of that now, the little damage indicator on the car, the little info thing, but it's not going away. Yeah, that little like thing that was actually that just happened, that was actually on my screen as well, so. Well the pit crew can be ready ready for me at end of any lap of remaining in Yeah, well I know it's gonna need to be soon, but But I can't catch him on oh wait. Fast reach mix. Fast fuel mix. I can't believe I forgot about that. You guys must have been screaming at me to use that. But yeah, let's try and now get past Hamilton. We're going to be closing up in this sector anyway, so... But can we actually find a way through? That's the question. We've got 1.4 seconds between us and Lewis now. He's run wide. I'm going to go a chance on the inside. Oh no, we've run a bit deep there. I'm sure he's going to come back on the inside. No, he's not. I thought he would have done. But we take the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton. Now that tyre has gone red. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to have to try and nurse this car home. But we're going to have to try and build a lead on Lewis Hamilton. And this is on Legend, of course, guys. I don't know if I can check in the pause, show you in the pause menu that it is on Legend. This is not good, this is not good. I'm not sure we're going to be able to go as quick as we are. Well, we can't, because... A lack of grip, I'm not surprised, I've already spun it. I'm, oh, watch out, Fernando. That was close. Right, Prayton Cruz, I'm just taking... I'm, I'm getting this car to the finish, guys. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk, you know, having a major accident fighting for the lead. I'm going to take it steady. You know, finish. I'm going to skip ahead as well, guys, to the last lap then. Because, well, unless I catch up to Alonso. So, I'm going to skip ahead to the start of the last lap. So, I will see you there, guys. Right, guys, it's not the final lap now. And it's not the start, finish straight. But I'm... I just thought I'd rejoin you know you rejoin the race here because we do seem to be catching Fernando Alonso just a tiny bit before the end of this Grand Prix so he says remember to pit this lap also we only spun because I went off there but anyway we don't look as if we're gonna catch Fernando so that's not going away that's actually intimidating with all them red tires but we've had no major scares through any of these corners you know recently so the only scare that I've got at the minute is Weber's catching a little bit, but it's the last lap now. So let's try and win this Grand Prix, well, finish in this Grand Prix, you know, uh, third position to start off the season will be great work. I'm not going to be doing any podium interviews in this game because the video is already going to be around 20 minutes long as it is, and I would edit it down, but I really haven't left any spaces for any editing in. With the way I've been yabbering on. But yeah, let's try and finish this Grand Prix on the podium. The first Grand Prix of the season from 10th position to 3rd. We probably would have been able to challenge for the win if I stayed out a few laps later. On the prime tyre. But that's nothing to do with me at the minute. That's We've learned from that we might be able to put that into practice in Melbourne if we... Okay, we're running very deep here. This is going to be very tight between us and Weber in these final few la final few corners. I don't think we're going to hold on to third position. To be fair, here he is. He's right there. Mark Weber is. 
This is not good. This is going to be so close at the line. Oh, why did I go over that part of the corner there? That's not fair. I can't get the grip down, guys. I've, I've got no grip left. Got no grip left. Weber's right there. I'm, I'm defending from Weber. Well, I'm trying to. Oh, Weber's on the inside. He's made contact with us. Oh, we made contact with him. But we've got we've got back past him. I, I didn't mean to make any contact with him, though. Okay, so we've got a bit of a gap on Weber. Hamilton's going to go win the Bahrain Grand Prix. The first race of 2010 goes to Lewis Hamilton. There it is, Lewis Hamilton wins the Bahrain Grand Prix, Alonso in second, we're going to finish third, after a little bit of contact with Weber, but it wasn't intentional, we come across the line in third position, to start this World Championship off, with a podium finish in the first Grand Prix, now that is fantastic. Yes, 15 points, first Grand Prix of the season, and we're... Got 15 points in the bag. Who finished last? Schumacher finished outside the points on his comeback. Buemi Kobayashi DNF'd. Chandok 22nd. Bruno Senna in 19th. Who also had, uh, you know, was in the points and led a lap at one point. But this is the Drivers' Championship so far, guys. It doesn't really mean anything after the first race. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, hit that like button down below. I will see you in a few days time for Australia for the Australian Grand Prix. Thank you for watching and goodbye.